Welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel, uh, summer edition, almost Christmas or getting close to it. Uh, really hot this morning, but um, clouds are coming over. Now we're going to get a storm by the looks of it, summer storm. I found this thing uh, while I was taking the dog for a walk the other day, um, sitting on someone's pile of junk outside the front of their house, and it, I actually thought it was a, uh, an inverter to uh, change voltage from 110 to 240 or vice versa, something like that. But uh, when I got home and started looking at it, it actually says that it's a dimmable electronics, electronic ballast for HID. In other words, high intensity discharge lights. And uh, being a car person, I thought, wow, this thing's about uh, 30 times bigger than the ballast for the HIDs on my car. Uh, so I had a bit of a look at this and it says model HPS slash MH 400 watts. So I'd had a bit of a look at that and this actually almost means nothing a HPS or an MH is a light type uh, and it is a HID type and surprise surprise for uh, the area that I live in it's a HID type a HID a light for uh, used for um, growing things indoors uh, and I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions on that one but uh, 400 watts aluminium housing um, Standard cord there, plug in, plug in at this end. It's got a, uh, a fan just there, cool it. Uh, it's got uh, here a, let's have a look at that. It's got here, this is the dimming option, so you can have a 120 watt. Oh, here we are. So, yeah, 150 watt, 250 watt, 400 watt, or Super lumens. Now I don't know what that means. Beyond 400 watt, if it's rated at 400 watt, it must overdrive it. Uh, and the really odd bit is, is it's got this um, the outlet plug for it, where the lights plug into. And um, I've got no idea what type of plug that is. It's halfway between uh, an Australian plug. It's got this round bit here, and at first I thought, oh, that means it must be a 20 amp outlet. Um, but that doesn't quite work for me. Well, maybe it is. Uh, but it's like a, a, t a modified Type H outlet. So um, anyway, so we've got live neutral earth. And you can even see down in there copper shining at us. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, let's pull this thing apart see what we can find in it because I can only assume that if it was on the rubbish it doesn't work and um, what on earth else are you going to use it for? Alrighty, first thing first you can reuse the uh, cord that it came with or put it in as mid-grade copper wire so snip the plugs off save the brass off there if that's your thing Get brass out of here if you're really patient. Um, I often save them up and do them while I'm watching TV or just throw them in to shred steel because they are pretty heavy. It's a nice long cord so it'll give you 20 cents. Uh, this weird looking plug here. Let's see if we can chop it off up about there. Yep. Uh, I'll probably try and pull that apart just for the fun of it because I've never pulled one apart before but uh, man, I haven't got the patience to do that on, cam on camera uh, what else have we got here pull that off the, um, which is plastic so that's rubbish um, undo that the switch, this little nut holding the switch on. And then proceed to undo as many Phillips head screws as we can find. Oops, don't get in So look at that. 
So that's a nice bit of extrudes aluminium and um, this bit here is not a decal, it's a little slidey outy thing which I'll get it in a minute. So yeah, nice bit of aluminium there, as is this case here. Tiny little fan just there, you can take that off. And you'll see in there, everything's been covered with a resin, silicone -y type thing. Um, I'm assuming to assist with vibrations, whatever. So uh, probably what I'll do is slide the, um, the whole circuit board out if we can and then take off anything that's got copper in it, put it in my transformers bin because it'd be too hard to um, get the copper out of it uh, and we'll go from there. So let's have a look. Screws out because there are a number along the sides here that were holding in various uh, diodes, I think they're called, and they require heat sinks on the back of them because they get very hot. And it appears as though this slides in, the circuit board just slides down to a couple of slots. I'm hoping if I hold it on the side here and give it a good oh, and look at that, it works a good whack. Chunks falling off it. And a grinding hole. Bigger hammer. So that came out, I had to build it from the other side, build it back through the other way, which explains why this transformer is also a bit uh, looking a bit raggedy. And um, just need to remove this deckle off there. Just so we've got clean extruded. Clean extrude, and that feels like it's about not quite half a kilo. And that's where the money's going to be in this. Uh, take the transformers off this um, circuit board. underneath wherever you can and just leave it or cut them off. There we go. And on there somehow. Maybe, 
Maybe not. When these come off pretty clean, I'll probably strip that. Um, is there any other delightful items here? There. There's one there. Little transformer. I saw a fourth one somewhere, but maybe I was mistaken. Uh, I don't think there are any switches in here or anything like that, any um, relays. Uh, if you desire these, I'll call them transistors, I don't know what they are. Ah, I knew there was a fourth transformer, there it is, hiding just there. These transistors are often copper backed, and if you pull these off, them off, um, you can throw them in with what I call dirty copper. Um, if you're that keen. But you've got to kind of chop that. Yeah, make a bit of an effort, chop the plastic off. Here we go. Kind of nibble it away a bit. See that that's um, it's copper, but it's it's still got the little transistory thing on it. It's not that clean, so yeah, dirty copper for that one. Um, and again, depends on how keen you are, doesn't it? If you feel so inclined, these transformers that you know have kind of fallen apart as I've um, been smashing the uh, printed circuit board, they're not too bad to. All the bits. There's a ferrite core and a ferrite outer, and that fell to bits. Um, ferrite is a ferrous, man made ferrous metal, I guess you'd call it. Uh, used a lot in transformers, but pull an end off, get your side cutters. Plastic's usually brittle, so you can do that. And that. And Of course this one's totally different to the other one that I've got all that bundle out of. This one is weird, it's got this, uh, oh here we go, this is the bit I'm looking for. So that's rubbish. You can pull wires out of the middle. That's it, job done on that. So, this one, not as big a bundle as the other one, but that comes in as um, windings copper. So what did we end up with? Um, some mid grade insulated copper wire, 280 grams, so it's running at about the $2.60, $2.70 a kilo mark at the moment. Um, 
So what's that? That's a quarter of that. About 70 cents, call it. Maybe 65, around that. And uh, so that's pretty good for a bit of wire actually, a bit of insulated. It's taken no effort. And then, then, then we've got this bit of burnt copper. Um, 60 grams and uh, burnt copper is running at 7.50 a kilo at the moment so what's that about three about 36 cents something like that and finally the bit of aluminium and the end plates were aluminium as well they'll just go in as general but let, let's just throw that on the floor <laughs> um, $1.35 a kilo at the moment for extruded uh, aluminium and what do we got we got 800 grams there uh, so mm, about a dollar ten that's worth um, so a dollar ten sixty cents let's let's call it two dollars all up with all the other ex little tiny bits and pieces so um, that was better than going into landfill uh, it was a weird thing to pull apart in its own special way given that it was uh, for indoor cultivation of plants and um, yeah thanks for watching see you next time um, oh this will be coming up around the Christmas time so if you celebrate Christmas happy Christmas to you and if you don't and you just like the public holidays well fair game there so happy holiday and uh, I'll see you in the new year probably although there may be some changes I have to move house for about six months and um, might not have anywhere to go scrapping. We will see. Bye all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.